Okay, um, my name is Michael Ainsworth. About three years ago, um, I kind of had this idea uh, to do a music heritage trail in Halifax. Uh, and my kind of reasoning and thinking behind it was because Halifax, had, over the last sort of 25 years plus or so, I've been music promoting in and around Halifax. And it also amazed me was hearing about some of the fantastic names of bands, artists who played in the town uh, over previous years often in venues which had long since gone. And I kind of felt it was really important as a kind of keeping that heritage and culture alive uh, that we we, kept, we did a film and did a trail um, to, to cover the venues that we've, and the people who've played. Uh, I was also, I suppose, inspired really by a uh, local author, Trevor Simpson, who I'm going to meet in a minute, who has brought out two successful books which document Halifax uh, and Halifax music scene in the, in the sort of late 50s, but mainly in the 60s and a bit into the 70s. And it's such a surprising place in terms of people who played here. This, in this day and age, 2013, there's absolutely no way uh, that we would be able to attract the kind of calibre and the names of people who came to this town, let's say mainly in the 60s, but also into the 70s and early 80s. There's no way they would play in Leeds or Manchester and not play uh, at such a small provincial town. But Play they did, and uh, this trail is all about uh, remembering that, celebrating that, so that there's a permanent record of its contribution to live music. Uh, 